This is Eddie Carden with Halftime Magazine. And we're here with David Gibbs at the 2008 DCI World Championships to do a follow-up interview. Tiffany! No, sorry. It's closed after the two years. Great. So what, what comes next? Oh, I, uh, I don't know. <laughs> we get home, we clean up, we get ready for next year. We are planning for next summer to go to Europe. So. Really? Well, for, what are you doing in Europe? Well, we'll do for two or three weeks. We'll go to Holland, we'll go to Germany, maybe down to Italy. And then the big thing is the World Music Contest. We did that four years ago. We're like uh, 300 groups from over like 30 countries compete in this big contest over four weekends. And we won it four years ago in our division. So we want to go back and defend our champions. Oh, re repeat so. champions. We'll try. Do you have any advice for other directors, other corps? Well, I mean, you know, uh, or other groups, not really. I mean, you know, this is kind of a, you know, this kind of outdoor activity with a marching band or drum corps. Um, it just takes a, a lot of passion. You know, everybody's got to make sure, you know, if you're a director or an instructor and you got a group in front of you, first and foremost, you know, do a show that they can, that they can perform. You know, they can execute. Like our B Corps at a high school level, they didn't try to go crazy creatively. They put a, put a show together that works for them and they can perform. Because usually the most, the best effect is execution and excellence. You know, so if you give a group, give a give a program they can excel at. That's, Probably the best advice. Don't try to do too much, you know, and make sure you look and listen to your members and they'll, they'll probably tell you what kind of show you should be in front of them. Bringing the life I've heard from tons of people at CORE great for leadership and yeah, all sure. sorts of stuff. How do, how do you, those lessons translate? Well, I mean, these kind of lessons, I mean, we always try to, I mean, we have a great staff to teach us, you know, their, uh, their craft, either, you know, drumming, playing a horn, dancing, doing a color guard. What I, what we try to do in the admin part of it is to take it and translate it to how you can take those skills and apply it to real life. Group environment, teamwork, a lot of, you know, a lot of jobs. Uh, we look for look for people who are not just individuals, but know how to work within a team. Know how to take failures and you know take it in stride and recover and take you know big victories and how to be humble about it. Uh, the dedication, the excellence, not just accepting mediocrity, but excelling to be the best you can be. And you know that's kind of cliche, but there's not a lot of people out there to do that. So we teach a lot of lessons. So we try to when we teach them the craft, we try to tell them what's important for them when they leave the drum corps. So, so where do you see where do you see your members going? Well, a lot of them go into music education, a lot of go into performance. Um, a lot of them become really uh, well-established professionals in whatever career path they choose. But usually they're leaders, and usually they're people that have a tendency, have a lot of people who want to be around. And, uh, and they always, you know, years to go, they come back and they really realize what they learned here to excel for. That's why the alumni base is so strong, especially with all very strong alumni. You guys, you guys have done a great job maintaining it. Yeah, we try. It's tough, you know. We're still a fairly young core in comparison to some other cores out there. So we're, uh, but we try to, you know, tell them and try to uh, get, encourage them to come back around and help out the people that are doing it right now. So. That's great. Well, good luck. Thank you. Nice coming days. Appreciate it. Appreciate it.